Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video at the Pharmacist Academy. Woo! Acronym of the day number 3. Now for those of you who don't know, I used the acronym throughout pharmacy school and I'm telling you right now that's the reason why I was able to achieve higher test scores. So if you're not using acronyms, I advise that you start ASAP. They are very easy to remember. You could get creative with it and it's going to make your life so much easier. So let's begin right away. How to remember that the following cephalosporins come in oral formulation. Cephalaxine, cephachlor, cefuroxime, and cefdinner. Now, for those of you who don't know, cephalosporins are antibiotics and they're used a lot in clinical practice. They come in injectable formulation and also oral formulation. A lot of the times the patient is in the hospital, but they're getting discharged on oral medication, right? They're not going to finish their antibiotic course a lot of the times in the hospital, right? So they get discharged and you need to know like some of the common antibiotic antibiotics in general that come in oral formulation but in this video I'll be sharing with you these four medications from the cephalosporins class now on the left side I have the medications with the brand name in the middle column I have the generations now cephalosporins have different generations now the example of the medications I will be talking about they fall into these generations here how to remember is when I provide you with information on, you know, the thought process or how you go about remembering that these medications here come in oral formulation. So the first one is cephalaxine, which the brand name is Keflex. It covers gram positives because it's in the first generation of cephalosporins. Now, how do you remember that cephalaxine comes in oral formulation? Now, the brand name is Keflex. Now, Keflex reminds me of cornflakes, and you eat that with your mouth. So, obviously, it comes in oral formulation. Now, this is what I call N word acronyms, right? So, notice how I use the name itself, right? The answer is literally in there Keflex, right? Cornflakes. So, sometimes for N word acronyms, right, you just have to really analyze the word itself, and you're going to get the answer that you're looking for. The next one is Cephachlor, right, or Cephachlor, some other people like to call it. And the brand name is Cechlor, okay? Now, this covers gram-positive and negative, okay? It's in the second generation of cephalosporins. Now, the name Cephachlor sounds like Cephachlor, 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 which is a lozenge that people take by mouth for cough or a sore throat. So automatically you remember that Cephachlor, Cephachlor, bang, it comes in oral formulation. You're going to get the question correct right away. Cefuroxime, brand name is Seftin. It's in the second generation, cephalosporins. The brand name Seftin, Seftin, right, sounds like Sheffin, Seftin, Sheffin, which is basically when you chef up some food, okay, or you make food. Also, you could take it by mouth because it's a few, right, Cefuroxime. It's a few, not a lot. Okay, so those are two ways for you to remember that cefuroxime or ceftin, chefin, comes in oral formulation. Ceph dinner, right? I love this one. Ceph dinner, which is in the third generation of cephalosporins. The ending of the name is ceph dinner, right? Ceph dinner, dinner, which sounds like dinner, having a dinner. And automatically, you're going to remember why. Because dinner, sub dinner, easy, right? I know. I love N word acronyms. They make your life so much easier. I mean, like it's it's amazing, you know. Like just think about it. You just have to analyze the word itself, and you're going to get the answer. And the answer is probably not like direct, but. Once you are familiar with your acronyms, right, or the how to remember part, once you see these medications on the exam, you're going to get it right away, okay? 
Now, I have two other videos on N-word acronyms. I provide you with more examples. Please take a look at them. If you know any good acronyms or any good N-word acronyms, drop it down in the comments and let everybody else see. You know, I would love to learn some new ones. These are the ones that I use. I hope it helps you. And if it don't, hey, try it out still. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to help. It's so much easier than trying to remember that these medications come in oral formulation. Okay, I promise you, just try it out. And that will be the end of this video. If this video is very helpful, make sure you share it with a friend. Like, comment, and also subscribe because I'll be posting more of these videos. I want to know what you guys think about these videos, okay? Give me feedback regarding these N-word acronym videos because me personally, I love them, <laughs> okay? So until then, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments as always. Don't hesitate, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.